Push the goddamn button. Push the goddamn button. Everybody subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Go ahead and click that red button right there. And also click that bell for notifications and select all. All right. Yo, 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 yo. This is Games and Graphics. We back in the building with another GTA 5 mod tutorial for you. And today we are going to be installing a car pack. This is an extremely huge car pack right here. As you can see on the screen, this pack is about 3.3 gigabytes big, all right? Um, this one right here is made by Gameplay Review, all right? This is the creator's page right here. This is his, um, actually his YouTube. I will leave a link down in the description to his YouTube. Y'all feel free to go over there and check him out. Tell him that Games and Graphics sent you. But uh, go ahead and check out all the videos. Uh, he has different videos of different car packs, okay? Um, the video that, the car pack that we are installing today is quite old and it's only about, uh, I think between 200 to 300 cars, okay? But like I said, he has different videos for different car packs. So uh, go ahead and feel free to uh, check him out and give him a shout out, all right, y'all? Now, um, let's jump into the requirements that we are going to need for this, all right? First off, we are going to need Open 4, all right? It's very important that you have Open 4. We're not going to be installing Open 4 today, but I will leave a link down in the description showing you how to install Open 4, okay? So definitely go check out that if you don't have it installed already, all right? Now, moving on to the next requirements, we are going to need Script Hook V, all right? And we are also going to need community script hook v.net all right and we are going to need a uh, game config all right this is the uh, game config by f7yo it has been um, updated to the latest um, gta 5 update we're going to need this and then in order to run the config we are also going to need the heap limit adjuster and also the pack the pack file limit adjuster okay and last but not least, we will need native UI, okay? All right, and once you get here, you just wanna click on download 1.91, all right? So those are all of the requirements that we need. Once you have all of those downloaded, it should look something like this. On my left-hand side, I have an empty folder with the downloads that we just downloaded. Starting off from the top, we have GTA 5 config. Then we have the GTA 5 heap adjuster. Then we have native UI. Then we have packet limit adjuster, pack file limit adjuster. Then we have uh, script hook V and script hook V.net and our GTA 5 replace car pack. All right. Now, just to show you a brief uh, look at the README that will be um included this after we get done with the installation you can find this readme inside of your grand theft auto 5 directory now i'm just going to go down and show you the list of cars that it has that's why i don't know exactly how many it is because it's a lot but they also have um all of the creators above all these cars okay um apparently the um the person who put this pack together they took all of um their cars from the gta 5 GTA 5 Mods website. It's the website that we're all familiar with if we're in the modding. We all pretty much stop by GTA 5 Mods website, see what they have. And uh, all of these cars that are in the game, you can find also on that website. And he has the author's name above right here, okay? So um, you'll see like little spaces in between. That's because they're separating uh, which cars are made by which author. And right at the top of... Uh, Right at the top of the little paragraphs for different cars, you will see the author, okay? So make sure that you check out that README after we're done um, installing, okay? I'll point it out to you um, once we're done later on also, all right? Now let's go ahead and get started with this. Um, the very first thing that we want to do first, um, I have my Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here on my right-hand side. And I also have my Open 4 opened up, all right? I just minimized my uh, Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. Now I have my Open 4 opened up right here, okay? So it's very important you wanna open up your um, Open 4. And what you wanna do also, while we uh, still have our directory up, let's go back to the directory. 
uh, what you want to do is create a mods folder okay you want to create a mods folder in your directory all right make sure that your mods folder is empty okay before we even get started I want to make sure that you have nothing inside of your mods folder okay so you create a new folder name it mods and make sure it's empty all right and then also it is good to make sure that you have nothing else installed um, is because this is a very large uh, pack so you might want to take all the scripts and the mods out and everything install this first and then install whatever after okay so let's minimize the grant that photo 5 directory and now we have our open 4 opened up right here now let's go to our downloads real quick and we are going to start off with the GTA 5 replace car pack all right we're going to drag and drop this in open 4 but before we do that let's make sure that our edit mode is on in open 4 it's going to be this little button right here near the top right corner of open 4 and it's going to have a little shield by it and it says edit mode you want to click on that button until it's highlighted blue all right when it's highlighted blue that means that edit mode is on all right now let's go back over to our downloads let's go and grab the gta 5 replace card pack it's a oiv file we're just going to drag that and drop it right here into our open 4. There you go. As soon as you drag and drop, you will see a package installer window open up and uh, it will say replace car pack. It's by gameplay review. And when you click right here, that will lead you straight to his YouTube channel. All right. So what we're going to do right now, um, also in the description right here, it has a list of all the cars that will be installed. OK, there's a I mean, it's a long list right here. All right. A lot of cars. All right. So check that out. Once you're done checking that out, go ahead and click the install button right there. Now we want to select our mods folder. That's why it was important for us to create a mods folder earlier so that we could put this inside the mods folder. So go ahead and select mods folder and then select install confirm installation. Now this uh, part right here is going to be downloading for a while. So go ahead and be patient and we'll be back when it gets done. All right, when it is done, you will see um, a message that says installation succeeded. Now that that has been done, we could go ahead and click close. Okay, close out of that. All right, now that we um, still have our open four opened up, let's go back over to our downloads. All right, now what we want to do is go inside of our GTA 5 config. All right, we want to go ahead and open this up right here. And um, we are going to be installing this on the latest version of GTA. Okay, this is after the arcade update. All right. So um, with the GTA config has been updated to the last to the latest update as well. So we are going to go in this one. All right. Now, if you are working on an older version of GTA, then you want to go ahead and select the older versions folder. All right. But for today, for the tutorial, I am on an update version of GTA. So I'm going to use the updated version of the game config. So let's go ahead and click this one. Inside here, we are going to have um, a lot of different game configs. Okay, everything from zero one plus traffic to uh, five times traffic, five time pids. Okay, now what I like to uh, use a lot of times is this one right here, the zero one times traffic, zero one times pids. Okay, so that's the one we're going to be installing today. Let's go ahead and open up that folder, and inside it will be our game config. Okay. Now, from this point, what we want to do is go over to our open four. You want to come down here on the side right here. You want to click update. And once we select update, select update.rpf. Once you select that, you should be greeted with a uh, with a red banner right here. OK, it should say show a mods folder. OK, it should say that by now. Show a mods folder. All right. So go ahead and click show a mods folder. Now we're going to uh, select common, common folder right here, and then select the data folder. All right. And this is the area that we are going to be dragging and dropping our game config. So let's go back over to our downloads and select that one game config that we had open. And we're going to drag and drop this game config right here into our open four. All right. And as you can see, it has been added right here. All right. Right now that we have a Grand Theft Auto 5 directory opened up right here on the right hand side. Let's go over to our downloads. The next one that we want to install is a GTA 5 heap adjuster. All right, let's open up that folder. Inside that folder is going to be one file. Let's go ahead and drag and drop that one file into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory. 
all right and if it asks you uh, do you want to replace it go ahead and select replace the file in the destination all right now let's go back over to our downloads go back um, the next one down is native UI let's go ahead and open up the native UI folder inside the native UI folder is going to be two files we only going to need the native UI DLL okay so what we want to do is go over to our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory open up the scripts folder inside the scripts folder if you notice you already have one but it's going to be old okay so what we want to do is go back to our downloads where we have our new native UI and we're going to just grab that first one native UI .dll, drag and drop that right here into our scripts folder it's going to ask you do you want to replace the file in a destination click yes all right now go up here to your Grand Theft Auto 5 or press back to get to your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory all right let's go back over to our downloads select back now the next one that we are going to install is pack file limit adjuster open up that folder pack file limit adjuster and inside that one is going to be two files in the readme we're going to grab these first two files only the two files that I've highlighted and we're going to drag and drop both of those files into our Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and also we want to select replace the files in destination the reason why we're replacing those files is that um, with the automatic installer it automatically installs all of these requirements but they're outdated all right so the next one that we are going to update is uh, script hook V let's open up the script hook V folder inside that folder is another folder that says bin open up the bin folder and inside that folder will be three files we only need the first one and the last one all right so we just need these two that I have highlighted we're gonna drag and drop these two I have highlighted right here into Grand Theft Auto 5 directory and once again we want to replace the files in the destination all right let's go back over to our downloads go back back last but not least we need to install scripthookv.net so open up your scripthookv.net folder there's going to be two uh, text documents and a couple of files down here we are only going to need three of these files okay so make sure that you have uh, these three that I have highlighted the scripthookv.net ASI scripthookv.net 2.dll and scripthookv.net 3.dll all right so we're going to take these three that I have highlighted drag and drop all of those into your Grand Theft Auto 5 directory just those three files and we also want to replace the files in the destination all right so now that that is done we can go ahead and minimize any windows that we have open and run the game all right once you have loaded in the game uh, me I am loading at Frank house and as you can see cars that drive around you you will see that they have been all replaced with uh, real cars even uh, Frank's uh, Buffalo is a charger actually you see it's a Dodge Charger all right uh, let me show you the inside of it as well inside looks nice and the mirrors and everything works also the reflection and stuff all works so we're gonna drive around just for a little bit as you can see right in front of me that's an Audi right there and then uh, this one right there that's uh, a Kia <laughs> I mean you're gonna see a lot of a lot of different cars around here that's another Audi truck they have a lot of Audis that's a, uh, a BMW let's see what else we see you know we're gonna see all these different cars out here parked uh, that's a Ford I think yeah let me see yeah this is a Ford right here yeah Ford Taurus yeah yeah they got all types of cars in here y'all and the interiors look good too the interiors do look good all right um, let me go and teleport to, uh, let's see down in this area teleport over here by Frank's house all right all right let that load for a quick second
So I'm just gonna go around and just see the uh, different cars. I like to kind of go around to the parking lot. That way you can see uh, a collection of all the different cars. But in this parking lot, <laughs> it's not really filled up right now. But um, all these cars, uh, well, no, that's not real. That's the Provado right there. So the vans aren't replaced, but all the cars should be replaced. All right. As you can see, these cabs are real Crown Vicks by uh, Ford. Real Crown Vicks by Ford. <laughs> now, we're not going to be able to drive around and see all these cars. But we could do this for right now. Let me go and park up here. Yeah, yeah, you too, buddy. So as you can see, um, their cars are also replaced. The gang members' cars. If you're familiar with the gang members, um, in each turf, they got their own uh, different cars and stuff as well as colors. Now over here, the family, you know that their color is green. And also, their cars has been replaced also, all right? This is a real Impala right here that has been replaced with. All right, neighbor. And if you want to access your uh, your menu, your replace menu, you want to press F6. That's function key F6. You press that, you will see a little uh, menu pop up at the top left. And it's going to say replace cars, my save vehicles, spawn in vehicle. It's going to have persistence also. Um, that way you could... Uh, you could park your vehicle and leave it there and then turn on the game and it will still be right where you left it. Or you could put on a tracker, that way you could track your car throughout the gameplay. You, and you could also leave it um, anywhere you want to on the map. But as soon as you turn off the game, if you just only got tracker on, you're going to have to uh, spawn that car again. Alright? So let's go ahead to uh, replace cars. Now when you enter into replace cars, um, right there lets us know how many cars that has been replaced. There's 205 replaced cars, alright? There's a long list from A to V, all the way down to Volkswagen, alright? They have all different types of cars, luxury cars, um, even imported cars that, uh, that you might not have heard of. Um, like Dan Dancia and some other cars, the Bauer and stuff like that, alright? But well, we got our Cadillacs and stuff. Look, we got a Cadillac truck. That's a Sheriff Cadillac truck. Wow, I'm seeing that one. Yep, lights work and everything, y'all. <laughs> so if y'all want to do some role playing or something with this, man, feel free to. You got your your uh, Cadillac Sheriff truck right here. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Um, let's go to uh, six. All right. I'm an unchecked spawning vehicle because um, a lot of times when I'm in a vehicle and I spawn a new one, it seems to spawn right on top of the car. So uh, I'm an unchecked spawning vehicle. Let's uh, spawn a couple of more vehicles. I'm not going to spawn that many. I really want to encourage everybody to download this and check it out for themselves. Alright, there we go. We just spawned a BMW right here on the side of us. Damn, an impatient lady. So we got all types of cars in here, y'all. This is really cool. I like this. I like this one right here. I love me some BMWs, man. What we got right here? What's she getting in? Oh, she's getting in a uh, Suzuki. Yeah. Yeah, that's a Suzuki. All right. Uh, let's see what else. Um, we can spawn real quick before we uh, end it. Uh, let's start up from the bottom. We got all different types of Toyotas, uh, Subarus, Shelbys, uh, Rolls Royce Ghosts. Let's see. Where's that at? Right there. Okay, we just spawned us a uh, Rolls Royce Ghost. And as you can see, we get a message at the top of the minimap letting us know that the vehicle has been delivered. Alright, it gives you the model and the hash number of it. And inside of these cars, a lot of them have... Um, TV screens in the back of the headrest and everything, okay? Now, one thing that I wanted to show you, let me go ahead and get to that. I wanted to show you uh, inside your game uh, GTA 5 directory right here. If you scroll down, you will see a text document that says README. Now, if you remember from earlier in the video, this is the same README that has all of the cars inside of it and also the creators of those cars, okay? 
and it has some other information as well in the readme okay you so you can find that readme right there in your grand theft auto 5 directory okay i'm gonna go check out all the cards around here y'all so while we do that if you enjoyed the video if this helped you out to install it go ahead and smash that like button for your boy and definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and share the video with your friends that are in the modding gta 5 y'all and one last thing also uh have fun yeah I ain't scared of you motherfuckers.